Hi, I'm Lorna, and today I'm going to read Good Neighbors by Diane Redfield Massey. This is a well-loved book. It doesn't even have a cover anymore. Mouse was a pocket mouse. He lived in a cozy little room underground. I love my house, said Mouse. Home, sweet home. He ran up his tunnel and out into the moonlight. The desert was silver and still. Ouch, said a voice behind him. Oh, ouch, again. The cactus flower shook on the cactus plant. I'm getting it. Who's there? whispered Mouse, who stood near his tunnel, ready to run back inside. I got it, said the mouse. Oh, my poor paws. A large flower fell down and rolled over. Ooh, said Packrat, coming out. He was wringing his paws and crying. What's the matter? asked Mouse. I've got prickers, said Packrat. He collected some cactus leaves and dragged them over the sand. What are you doing? asked Mouse, picking up the flower. Oh, I'm fixing my doorway, said Packrat, flinging his cactus onto a heap. Very near Mouse's side yard. Call me, call me Ratty. We're neighbors. We are, said Mouse. Oh, I just moved in, said Ratty. This pile of junk, that's my front door. Really, said Mouse, moving nearer. Well, you can't see my front door, said Ratty. It's underneath there somewhere. How do you get in, asked Mouse. Oh, it's not easy, said Ratty. Mouse stared at the heap of cactus and sticks. Rocks were sprinkled on top. It looked rather like the dump at the end of town. Mouse glanced at his own nice neat doorway, swept clean that morning. His door knocker shone in the moonlight and his door was cactus green. When I'm coming home with groceries, said Ratty, picking up a stone, that's when there's trouble. He threw the stone on the pile and smacked his paws. Things have a way of getting caught. Oh, you know how it is with prickers. The bags rip and there you have it, a mess. Why do you cover up your door like that? Asked Mouse, sitting down on his step. Camouflage, said Ratty. If you throw a pile of junk in front of your house, nobody knows you live there. Don't you want anyone to know? Asked Mouse, smelling his flower. Ratty straightened a stick on top of his pile and stepped back. Not bad. It's even worse than the last looking than the last house I had to move because of badgers, said Ratty, poking his nose be between the sticks and cactus leaves. He pushed his way down and disappeared beneath. Ouch, said Ratty, looking out again. Like to come inside for a spot of tea? Well, said Mouse, staring at the cactus prickers. I think I'd better go home. It's my supper time, you see, and tomorrow then, said Ratty, waving his paw. See you tomorrow, neighbor. Oh, ouch. And he disappeared again. Mouse stood for a moment, staring at Ratty's heap at the end of the yard. The moonlight silvered the cactus and stones, and even the sticks alike. <coughs> But in the morning, said Mouse to himself, it will look like the dump. 
He shook his head and went inside, shutting the door behind him. Mouse was up early the next morning, making himself breakfast. His tea kettle whistled softly on the stove. Thump, 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 thump. What's that? said Mouse, dropping his cup. Rocks and dirt showered down on his sofa. He scrambled behind the stove. Anybody home? Ratty poked his head through a large hole in Mouse's wall. He pulled himself through and hopped down on the sofa below. Bullseye, said Ratty. What luck. I was making my back room a bit longer and here it's coming to your house. So it has, said Mouse, picking up his cup and the handle had broken off, which made him feel cross. Ratty, he said, you made a large hole in my wall. Isn't that nice, said Ratty, sitting down at Mouse's breakfast table. Now we can really be good neighbors. If I need to borrow something, I can pop right in and out again. You can do the same, of course. What's mine is yours and what's yours is mine. What's mine is not yours, said Mouse crossly. This is my house and I don't want a hole in my wall. But it's above the sofa, said Ratty, pouring himself a cup of tea. It's so handy. We can just jump down and go oomph. We will not go oomph on anything, said Mouse, and certainly not on my sofa. He brushed the rocks and dirt off with his paws and stood up. <clears throat> the tunnel above ran back to the room where Ratty's lamp shone faintly. This is good tea, said Ratty. Have you got any biscuits? No, said Mouse, jumping down again. I haven't. Do you have any jam? No, shouted Mouse. He pounded his fist on the table, making the teacup jump. The tea ran down the tablecloth. My goodness, said Ratty. Why are you so cross? He stood up and stretched and then hopped on the sofa and from there into the hole above. See you later, he said. Have a, have a little finishing up to do here and there before lunch. <sighs> Mouse watched him disappear in the tunnel. Then he hurried across the room to his cupboard, took down a large picture hanging on the wall above. Grandfather Pocket Mouse will have to cover up the hole, said Mouse, until I can patch it up. He climbed the sofa and hung the portrait over a root. There, who would know there's a hole there at all? He stepped backwards and fell off. Drop that pack rat, said Mouse, flinging down a stone. Good neighbors, ha! Boy, he's not happy. By lunchtime, Mouse had cleared away the stones and dirt from his room. Then he warmed his tea and ate some toast. At last, he settled down for his morning nap. Knock, 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 knock. What? said Mouse, rubbing his eyes. Who's there? Me again, said Ratty, pushing out from under the picture. I forgot to borrow some cheese. Cheese? said Mouse. And bread, said Ratty. For lunch. Lunch? said Mouse. Ratty jumped down on the sofa, dust covered his head, and a cactus leaf hung from his ear. I said to myself, I said, said Ratty, why don't you run down to see your good neighbor Mouse? Perhaps you can have a little bite to eat together, being such good neighbors and all. I've just eaten, said Mouse. Anything left? said Ratty. Ratty, said Mouse sternly, I think there are some things you should know. Being good neighbors means you don't bother somebody else. Bother, said Ratty. 
You don't make holes in somebody's wall and you don't borrow cheese and bread and wake somebody up from their nap. Whose nap? Said Reddy. My nap, said Mouse. You're not being a good neighbor and I am getting very tired. Why don't you take a nap? Asked Reddy. I'm trying to, said Mouse. I think I'll go home, said Reddy. He looked as if he might cry. Goodbye, said Mouse. Reddy climbed through the hole back above the sofa. The picture swung back and forth, and I hope, said Mouse, pulling up his covers, that that's that. And he slept peacefully for the rest of the day. By late afternoon, the sun had gone down and the desert above had grown cooler. Mouse made his way up his tunnel and ran out into the moonlight. He gathered seeds under a bush and found some cactus apples. Delicious, said Mouse, biting between the prickers. What a lovely night. I wonder where everybody is. Watch out, said a tiny moth. The badger is out looking for his supper. The badger, said Mouse. Who's he? The badger is very large, said the moth. He likes to eat mice and rats. Pocket mice, said Mouse, dropping his seeds. Especially pocket mice, said the moth shutting his wings. Oh, I think I'd better go home, said Mouse. I think I'd better go home right away. He ran quickly over the sand, forgetting his apples and his seeds. There's my house, said Mouse. Thank heavens. The creosote bushes rustled. Something large was behind them. It's the badger, said Mouse, jumping in the air. It's the badger for sure. He leaped for his door and shut it behind him. The badger crept out in the moonlight. He stood before Mouse's green door. Oh, help, help, oh, help, cried Mouse, running around his room. I, I forgot to fasten the lock. He hid underneath his sofa. Thump, thump, thump. The badger knocked on his door. Help, cried Mouse, help, he'll open it. Oh, help, Ratty, help me. Ratty looked out from under the picture. Give me your paw, he said. Mouse reached up and Ratty pulled. Up he went under the picture in the hole and just in time. The badger's paw reached down and felt about the room. His claws tapped the sofa and the table and chairs, and then he picked up the stove. Ouch, said the badger, dropping the stove. Something's hot in there. He licked his paw and shook his fur, and then he shuffled off across the sand. Mouse lay exhausted in Ratty's chair. I've made some tea, said Ratty. He poured Mouse a cup of tea and sat down in his rocker beside the table. R Ratty, said, said, said Mouse. Oh, don't try to talk, said Ratty. You've had quite a fright. Just drink your tea and rest a bit. Would you like a cracker? Ratty, said Mouse. You, you, <coughs> you, you, you saved me. Think nothing of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Think nothing of it, said Ratty, taking out his cracker box. Tomorrow we'll fix up your room. And I was thinking, said Ratty, pouring himself some tea, that you're quite right about that hole in your wall. I'll, I'll help you patch it up. Oh, oh no, oh no, said Mouse, dropping his cracker. I, I like the hole in my wall. It's so handy for popping in and out. We can even go oomph on my sofa. We can, said Ratty, but you said. Oh, never mind what I said, said Mouse. 
And I don't care if your front door does look like the dump. Oh, it's so badgers won't know that I live there. It's a very good idea, said Mouse, settling back in Ratty's chair and sipping his tea. Just a minute, he said, jumping up again. He ran down the tunnel to his room and disappeared. In a moment, he was back, swinging a bag behind him. I brought some cheese, said Mouse. Hooray, cried Ratty, clapping his paws. We'll have a supper party. We'll celebrate being neighbors, said Mouse. Good neighbors, I mean. Hooray for good neighbors, cried Ratty, hopping off over his chair. He spread his crackers and smiled at Mouse. Please pass the cheese. I think they're going to be good friends. That's called Good Neighbors. I don't know. Oh, yep, there's pictures on the back. They're going on an outing. Looks like they're going to maybe go for a walk together. Or... All right, let's get our TikToks ready. Here you go. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Hickory, dickory, dock. The mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck two, the mouse said boo, hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck three, the mouse said wee! Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck four, the mouse said no more. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck five, the mouse said why? Hickory dickory dock. Bye, be good neighbors.